So there's the Elizabeth Castle where I'm going to go. Um, looks like the tide's in, so it's going to mean going across on the little amphibious vehicle, which is uh, will be fun. So there's a view across the St Elizabeth Castle. This is St Albans Bay. Over there is St Albans. Very vehicle to go across on. It's the other way, I think. We're off on the way. Elle l'a marqué en bas. Mais un neuf. Un neuf. Un Battery of cannons. This was a sort of parade ground. That's the uh, main fort up there. That's the uh, sleeping quarters. Must have been an officer's room. Another sleeping quarters. Fold up beds here. There's the fold up beds. Big Condor Ferry going out there. Condor Ferry. This bit platform here is what they call the Hermitage. Not sure we'll have, whether I'll have time to walk out there, but we'll see. I'm heading up to the fort now. This is the entrance to the fortress. View from the top of the fort. Um, I'm standing on top of German fortifications up here. Obviously, 
commandeered it for war use, looking out there across to the Hermitage, which I think I'll have time to go out there for the looks of it. Not really a lot more up here to see, apart from the view. Looking now onto the lower part of the castle. across there to St Albans and this is St Albans Bay yeah, St Albans Bay continuing round looking out through the German bunker now this is for observation not for firing guns looking out there to the Hermitage World War II bunker been stuck up on the top there somewhat incongruously walking out now to the hermitage on this breakwater some very noisy seagulls on the end of the pier. Oh, it's a jolly long pier. Long pier. Quite a walk out here. But I'm glad I did it. Not sure if we can get up to that, that little hermitage or not. Steps going up there, so we'll see. That's the uh, hermitage up there. Little hermitage. Uh, gates locked. Can't go in. Anyway, at least you can look through and see what it's like in there. Some quite steep steps getting up here. I to take it very steadily going down. Like some little wreath over there. That's the view, it's making me a bit nervous from up here. On this little platform. It wasn't as bad going down those steps as I thought it was going to be. Anyway, I'm just heading back into the main part of the castle again now. Uh, Millennium Cross. Yeah, some very noisy seagulls here. They like the sounds of their own voices, I think. Making my way back now. I hope I won't have to wait too long for the amphibious vehicle. Clear blue skies, not a cloud. The tide has gone out and some people are walking across. How long it would take to walk it. I've got about 10 minutes, 10 minute wait here, so it's not so bad. See, wading across. The walk would probably be quite wet. I don't really fancy getting wet feet. The amphibious vehicle is making its way over now. There's not a great deal of water. Here it comes, sort of splashing its way through. It's sort of following the route of the footpath. Yeah, here it comes. crunching its way up. Right. Yeah, it's 
bit of a bumpy ride. Bit of a bumpy ride, but very enjoyable.